Good morning. Uh, I'm a bit later today because I have just been on the phone to Kit. How lovely. Um, so now I know that Kit is male, 31, and <clears throat> I don't think he's Japanese. Anyway, um, he is a full-time barefoot walker. How magical is that? So I can't wait to meet him and uh, have a chat to him. It will probably be after Christmas now, though. Never mind. Anyway, let's do the time, shall we? So I'm sorry if I've... Uh... Can you see that? It's 9.52 and it's Sunday today. Yes, it is. And we finally got some water flowing. Isn't that incredible? And so beautiful. It is really, isn't it? I'm going to try and point out some trees today that have got faces. Uh, right. So I'm very excited that I've spoken to Kit, really. Um, and I think... Um, we will meet and we will have an interesting talk. We've already had one, actually, that went on for quite a while. Uh, anyway. Right, so. What do I want to talk about today? What do I want to talk about? Well, I think, really, I want to talk about bloody Monsanto. Uh, um... Monsanto, it looks like, have done a deal with Uruguay, or Uruguay, I don't know how you say it, but I like kind of Uruguay, Uruguay, uh, Uruguay, um, they have done a deal, can you see how those leaves are just shining, because we've got the sun coming up back there, can you see it? I know you can. Um, Monsanto doing a deal over marijuana. Um, because Uruguay, Uruguay, is going to become the first country to legally um, allow anyone, well, to totally legalise cannabis. So you can grow it, you can uh, sell it, you can use it. Um, and surprise, surprise, Monsanto are there, as usual, um, kind of all, let us have it, let us have it. Because uh, Monsanto have actually uh, become a pharmaceutical company as well, and create their own pharma plants, which I've talked about before. Um, and looks like they are going to genetically modify the marijuana. Now, this is something that our own government, I think, is trying to do here in, in the UK. We have one of the biggest cannabis growing uh, areas, and the producers are our own government. Um, and they are trying desperately to uh, take control of the marijuana situation so that when it is legalised, which, of course, it will have to be, <clears throat> um, they will be the front runners with everything um, and, and it does annoy me because you know we're still kind of calling people criminals who are using this for whatever reason you know if you want to get high on it get bloody high who has the right to stop you from getting high this is your life and it's your experience However, there are people who are using it for a medical reason as well. And I'm one of those people. And, um, you know, I don't like the fact that my government, because it's looking at profits and it's wanting to make a killing on the healing power of cannabis, is um, still saying, no, 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 even though 
uh, their own government chief advisor on drugs and alcohol. Um, Professor Nutt, who was sacked, oh, must be five years ago now, maybe less than that, um, has told them exactly what is uh, beneficial, that there has never been a death attributed to cannabis, that cannabis is not addictive, and it isn't. Seriously, my own use of cannabis has reduced dramatically, um, which is a real surprise. There's my contemplation seat. And we have all kinds of birds in there. <clears throat> you know, um, so for example, this morning, um, I didn't get up and think, oh God, I gotta put on my volcano. I've got to have my cannabis. No, I didn't think that. I don't have to have it last thing before I go to bed. No. Yeah. So, I think we have to keep an eye on it. I mean, it's like you're distracted by something else, so you focus on something else. And these are the things like Monsanto and their dirty tricks. You know, they just sneak around when people aren't even looking, or they're looking at something else. Yeah. So, I, I'm not happy about that really, personally, um, because I think cannabis and, and all the cannabinoid kind of uh, flowers, plants, whatever, um, are healers and cleansers and cleaners. And they really don't need to be mucked about with. You know, why do these companies like Monsanto think that God gets it wrong? Why do they think that God gets it wrong and that they have to put it right? Well, the first thing is they don't. They actually know that God's got it right. But they have to create a way that they can totally monopolize the whole market. And the way to do that is to actually create strains that become dominant, that um, take over uh, the market and uh, wipe everybody else off the playing board, basically. Uh, you know, I'm sure that at some point Monsanto is going to go down with a huge crash. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be in my lifetime. Anyway, so that kind of uh, really got to me thinking about that. Um, because I know how beneficial the cannabis has been for me. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it, really. Apart from uh, their greed. Oh. I mean, you know, if I had 20 bazillion dollars... What would I actually do with it? I, how much money do people actually need? You know, how little they must value themselves as human beings that they have to have these bank balances that are, uh, what is it they say, too big to fail? Or they have so much money that they actually believe, you know, that that's how valuable they are to society. Well, you're not. You're not. If you are doing something that actually is detrimental to society, it doesn't matter if you've got trillions of dollars. You're of no value to me or to anybody else, really. Now, this sky was blue when I came out this morning, but it's not anymore. So, yeah, that's been my thing for today anyway. And then I did make a, th <clears throat> a thank you video. And um, I did it last night when I was at home. And then I thought to myself, I'm not sure if I should actually be showing these things. Because I show you my volcano. I just think this is bloody ridiculous. You know, there's people out there. People out there in the same position as I am with their breathing. And they're running around looking for cures and... You know, basically um, 
trying to take responsibility for their lives, take responsibility for their experience here on the planet. And they're just hitting fucking brick walls left, right and centre. Um, because the lungs are very, very difficult to medicate. You know, it's not like you can take a spoonful of medicine and, and take it into your lungs. You can't. So there's only specific ways, and very limited ways, that you can get assistance into your lungs. And vapour is one of them. And, and they know this. This is why they use all kind of inhalers. But if you're like me and your particular... COPD, OCPD, whatever combination of bloody initials it is, does not respond, then, you know, cannabis is, is the way, the only way. And, and it really, really pisses me off that there are people out there who could benefit from this bit of knowledge I've got that I gathered from elsewhere. And then put into an experiential kind of um, setting where that's how I'm medicating myself. It's the, the only medication that I am taking. Um, it, it just, I just think it's wrong that there are people suffering and in pain because coughing, I'm telling you now, the, the pain that coughing actually gives is uh, horrendous especially when you just cough 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 and there's no uh, production of anything because well basically you're having a lung attack which I didn't realize until I spoke to the specialist nurse you know why should people have to go through that kind of pain and discomfort when there's nothing the medical profession can do, they know there's jack shit that they can actually do about it. And they obviously know that marijuana does actually help because they are, in, in this country, spending millions and millions on research into it. And Monsanto is there with its guns flying and the reason Monsanto's doing that is because it knows it's been backed into a corner over other things and it probably thinks that there's governments who think oh yeah yeah let them uh, produce this uh, GMO cannabis uh, because we basically don't give a shit about who's going to get it as long as it's not me that has to uh, take it as long as I can get hold of real stuff you know do you know what I'm saying so yeah, that's been my uh, little rankle for today. Anyway, uh, I might put that up. You know what I mean? Uh, God, I could go to the newspapers and everything if they actually did come. I could show the research. I could make a big hoo-ha about it. Uh, the problem is the newspapers are generally owned by the very people who are supporting all of this shit, as we know. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. I don't know if this has been a quick one or not. I feel like I've been talking all bloody day. But I think that's because of the long conversation I had before I came and started to do the video. Um, so, I'm probably going to go home now. And uh, I might just walk around here for another hour. You know, I do love it so much. I think, well, what do I want to go home for? to sit in my cave in my little cell that I've been allocated and uh, I think the next time that I come out I'm going to talk about the past year and uh, what an adventure it has been in more ways than one um, so keep looking up guys there are the most gorgeous trees all waving at you all going hello Good morning. And now it's starting to rain and I love the rain. So hopefully I'll get a good soaking. And uh, the ground here in England will be very, very grateful for it. 
Um, because whether we believe it or not, I think this has been a very dry year. What have they found? They say nothing, Mum. We're just sniffing. We don't wander around like you, talking non-stop. We take everything in. And I didn't even show you any of the faces. That'll be for next time, then. Right. So keep looking up and uh, remember to enjoy life, live it. It is exactly why we are here. Uh, honey, honey, you're not going in there. Honey, good girl, out you come. She says, oh, there's a way, there's a way. Right. I'll catch you again then. There was something making a noise there. That's what she was after. And uh, so from Honey and Abby, who are there, my feet that are here, and the beautiful Wayne Body Wood, it's uh, time for me to go. And he says, I'm damn well going to get in there. I want to see what's there. So I'm going. Bye. Raindrops keep falling on my head.